Pastor Paul Begley is known for his prophecy, for his evangelism, and he was ordained by Lester Summerall. It's a powerful, powerful thing. He also was mentored by Irvin Baxter, a close friend of Pastor Jim and Lori Baker. He's been in the ministry for almost 40 years. Pastor, when you hear a video like this of a mayor of New York City getting desperate, what do you think? Well, it's a wake-up call, okay? It's a wake-up call to the major cities who originally said that they were sanctuary cities. Mm-hmm. Right. But, but now, you know, it's no longer a Texas problem. It's become a, a national problem. And, and what I've asked myself is, why is it happening? First of all, it's interesting to see a Democrat actually, you know, it sounds like Talk a Republican, like a That's conservative. Right. But it's because it's reality has come home. Right. And if you think about America, America is it's, it's a global cabal, seems to be trying to take over America um, from the three coasts, the left coast, I would say the west coast, the northeast, and the southern border. And you take these, what's happening, you take all of the things that are happening here, it's an invasion almost, not the people, not the people, mm-hmm. but the, the group that is funding it and supporting right. it and bringing people in. And then the Americans are saying, how are we going to pay for all this? And that's what the, the mayor of New York is saying. How are we going to, we got to take care of folks. We're that's not right. going to not take care of people, but how are we going to do it? That's right. And uh, it's, it's overwhelming. Yeah. That's so, right. And he said, what do you do when we have a 12 billion with a B dollar deficit? And he said, it, he laid it out clearly for you. We're going to have to cut from the other things. They're going to have right. to cut their police departments, their fire departments, the, the sources, the resources that they have to actually help the people. That's what they're going to have to cut in order to fund this. Right. And that's what he's saying. What yeah. do we do whenever we see uh, cities across the nation and they're saying we're getting desperate, like Mona said, we're getting tired of even the own laws that we've set in right. place. Well, what you're seeing now is this uh, lawlessness. That's okay, it. the crime is out of control. Right. It's, 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 it's organized crime even to the point when you got 20, 25 people go smashing, grabbing stuff, you know, and then no, there's nobody being prosecuted. Mm-hmm. The district attorneys have just, they've been funded by Soros and others, it seems like, and, and they have a whole different agenda. So uh, I think what we're seeing here is the Americans are getting desperate. They're getting exhausted. Those who are working and paying taxes and are asked to pay more and more, right. and yet right. there's not enough uh, you know, benefits for everybody. Right. Uh, it, it, after a while, at some point, That's right. the, uh, anarchy, has to give. Right. Yeah. anarchy starts. That's People right. just start taking what they want. Yeah. That's, and right. that's chaos. And that's what the new world order, that's what the global elitists want. Mm. If you're going to take a, str- Jesus said, if you're going to take a, a house, you got to take the strong man. Wow. And in this world, if you're going to take the world into a one world government, you got to take America. You got to get rid of what we know right. as America. That's right. And this, this is an onslaught of a demonic uh, agenda that's in play right now that I believe that we're watching right before our very that's eyes. That's right. And we are seeing signs day in, day out. You can turn the news on, you can just step outside your door if you live in a major city, and you can see signs that right. the end is near. But what signs do you use to determine the times that we're currently living in? Matthew 24. I always go there. there okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know, because Jesus was asked that That's question. It. He said, hey, uh, right. you know, what are the signs of your coming the end of the world? Yeah. And then he Amen. starts going down the false Christ, false prophets will come. They'll deceive many. You hear of wars, rumors of wars. See that you be not troubled for all these things must come to pass. The end isn't yet. For nations will rise against nations. Look what we have with Ukraine and Russia. Look at Iran hating on Israel. Look at China threatening Taiwan. I mean, it's the, and and then he said, and there will be these earthquakes, okay? And there will be pestilences, famines, disease. Are we seeing that? Yeah. We're there. How much, you know, we're hearing about another pandemic coming, what have you. So when I look at the signs, it's really not a timeline, but it's a sign line. Amen. That's a good way to put it. Okay. When people ask me, where are we at? Follow the signs. That's right. And Matthew 24 is really Jesus's uh, consolidated uh, presentation, if you will, mm-hmm. from the Old Testament prophets like Daniel and Ezekiel and Jeremiah and Isaiah and Hosea and, and Joel and all those, and the book of Revelation. And he just consolidates it and gives you Matthew 24. Yes. Yeah. And if you follow it, you'll see how close we are to his return. That's right. That's and right. you'll see the Unfortunately, you're going to see the chaos, the, the birthing pains. Yeah. But here's the good news. If it was just all birthing pains and, no, and nothing else, but no, no, no. Birthing what? 
The Amen. coming of the Lord. Amen. The coming of Jesus yes. Christ. Amen. Lori, in my mission is to fulfill the great commission of Jesus Christ to go into all the world and preach the gospel to every person. I want to thank you for standing with us and for your support. To hear more about the last day's events, go to watchjimbakershow.com. Remember, God loves you. He really does.